circle of nine. Add two more. Okay, triangle. Other side the same. Place one layer around it. Second layer, three, four, five, six. Bend this inward. Now bend those down. Push this into a triangle. I get these edges here. Fill this in with a triangle. Start with adding two in the center, one in the middle here. Add another two, one plus two plus one. This add up, adds up to a circle of nine. Now what happens here is interesting. When you squeeze it into a triangle and let it go, it pops open again. Now if you take a simple single triangle, triangle when you add a single magnet to the center, it becomes unstable. Here, when you put it into a triangle, the triangle uh, doesn't want to go where it is and now place a single magnet inside. And now suddenly the triangle stays more or less while well, it's a little, little unstable. Put two of those together. Other side, push it together, place a single one in the center, right there in the center. Should get a cross in the center here. Take four magnets and bend them down into a square. Then the square fits nicely over here in the center. One in the center, one next to it, and one to fill the row. So you get a small 10 magnet tetrahedron in the center. Add another one. And then over here you can place a single magnet in the center. Take three magnets into a small triangle, put it on top, inward. Now over here, if you place a single one here in this gap, then you can see what happens when you add the final one. So it's right here. Here you see a gap in the center, and here it's filled already. 
So just fill those gaps.